welcome to All Ears, your Disney destination station. <laughs> I'm Margot Jordan, and today I'll be giving you the lowdown on Walt Disney World's famous, thrilling water parks, which happen to be some of the most visited water parks in all of the world. In this series, we send you off with some super tips for all your Disney trips. Grab your swimsuits and your towels, and let's slide into it. Walt Disney World has not one, but two top-notch water parks open year-round, Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach. Now, before we dive into these, I should first tell you a few things about the water parks in general. To start, tickets for the water parks are an additional cost unless you have the Park Hopper Plus ticket. Water park tickets start at $65 for a one-day pass. However, you can visit both water parks in one day with that ticket. Let's call it a water park hopper. <laughs> Towels and locker rentals are available at the water parks and bus transportation is accessible from Walt Disney World Resorts. And parking is also free at both water parks. Take cover, a typhoon's rolling in. Rolling in, it's here. Mega stop. Wow! Who knew that a typhoon could make this water park paradise? Let's go ride some slides! Typhoon Lagoon is themed to be a tropical island that has been destroyed by a raging typhoon. With all the force of a great typhoon! There's even a boat, Miss Tilly, perched on top of Mount Mayday, which erupts a 50-foot tall geyser every half hour. Let's talk rides, slides, and activities. Activities. I was just trying to rhyme. I don't know if it worked. Anyway, the park has several water slides, including Humunga Cowabunga, a five-story tall speed slide where you can reach 39 miles per hour. There's also several tube rides and a family raft ride, which has larger four-person inner tubes. Typhoon Lagoon is home to the water coaster, Crush and Gusher, where two-person rafts speed through 400 feet of water jet-propelled slides. That's intense! But one of the top attractions that all can enjoy is the famous wave pool, equipped with surfing lessons, for an additional fee, that is. There's fun for all ages at Typhoon Lagoon. Little tykes can enjoy Catch a Kitty Creek with mini water slides and lots of interactive play areas. If you're looking to kick back and relax, you can lay out on the white sand beach or rent a beachcomber shack or an umbrella. What I especially love is the lazy river that circles around the entire park. What's to eat? Well, Typhoon Lagoon has all kinds of dining options. You can grab some barbecue sandwiches at Typhoon Tilly's, enjoy vegan options and more at Leaning Palms, snack at Low Tide Lou's, grab a refreshing ice cream at Happy Landings, or enjoy the Let's Go Slurpin' Beachside Bar. Food and non-alcoholic beverages are permitted to be brought into the park as well. So pack some snacks and enjoy a picnic lunch in two designated picnic areas. If you forgot sunscreen or any other Typhoon Lagoon necessities, Singapore Sal's has you covered. There's also a Pick a Pearl kiosk to quench your shopping thirst. Next up, let's check out Blizzard Beach. This just in, a freak snowstorm has hit Florida and a ski resort calling itself Blizzard Beach has set up shop. The snow has melted, but it has left some sweet water slides. Summit Plummet is the park's main attraction. Standing 12 stories high with speeds up to 60 miles per hour, it's one of the fastest and tallest water slides in the world. Warning! Do not wear a two-piece bathing suit or you may have a wardrobe malfunction. We recommend doing this ride first as there's lots of stairs to climb and you may be too exhausted by the end of the day. You must also be at least 48 inches tall to take the plunge. We also love the family whitewater rafting ride with rafts holding between four and six people. Downhill Double Dipper is the world's only side-by-side -side racing tube slide. Plus, there's several other tube, mat, and body slides on Blizzard Beach's Mount Gushmore. <laughs> Mount Gushmore. Gosh, I love a good pun. <laughs> to get to the top of the mountain and to most of the slides, you can take the chairlift, which gives guests a one-way ride to the top. That's right, the only way down is to ride a slide. Don't worry, Mom. Like Typhoon Lagoon, Blizzard Beach also has a wave pool, but it's a little bit more chill. 
better for bobbing rather than surfing. Guests also love the lazy river which goes around the whole park and through an ice cave where you'll find cold melting ice. The perfect pairing for a hot Florida day. For the older kids under 12, there's a ski patrol training camp that features smaller slides, a zip line, and obstacle course attractions. Little ones can enjoy Tykes Peak, which have mini slides and splash areas. When you get rumbly in your tumbly, you can check out Blizzard Beach's many dining options. Lada Wada Lodge is loaded with burgers, flatbreads, rice bowls, salads, and has vegetarian and vegan options. Polar Pub is Blizzard Beach's signature bar and the Cooling Hut in Avalanche and the seasonally open Warming Hut all offer a few entree options and snacks. Frostbite Freddy's and Icy Expeditions are your go-to for frozen treats. Oh, and don't forget the mini donut cart. Really good. Refillable mugs are all the rage and available for purchase, but are not interchangeable with Walt Disney World Resort refillable mugs. As for shopping, Beach House and Shade Shack have everything you need in case you forgot anything important at home or want a souvenir. Just give me a sunblock with 100 SPF, I don't need any wrinkles. What are you looking at? What else should you know? Well, for one, the water parks are typically open until sunset, so there's shorter hours in the winter. Each park closes for refurbishments once a year. No worries, at least one park is always open. Rain doesn't close parks, but lightning and cold weather can impact hours. And finally, we can't forget to mention H2O Glow Nights. This summer after hours event is offered at Typhoon Lagoon on select nights May through August. Now, this is a hard ticket event with smaller crowds, a DJ dance party, fun lighting, specialty food and drinks, an adults only oasis, and a beach party with your favorite Toy Story friends. Now that is my kind of party. So if you're looking to slide into either of Disney's water parks, we know they won't disappoint. Have you ever been to a Disney water park? What's your favorite ride? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm Margot Jordan with All Ears, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.